Hello everybody, hope you are doing well. So in today's video, we are going to learn about the poem Ode written on the 1st of January 1794 by Robert Sade. So in today, we are going to learn about this poem. And please friends, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Now let's get into it. Writing exam, it is mandatory to write something about the poem before starting or before getting into the summary. So now we are going to see something about the poem. About this poem, you can see five uh, important lines to write before writing into the summary. Blank verse, quatrains, the fourth line of all stanzas will be short. Lyrical poem, written in elegic tone. The first point is blank verse. If a poem has no rhyme scheme, then it is called as blank verse. So this poem has blank verse in it. The second one is quatrains. If you have the poem, take the poem and see to it. You can see four lines on a stanza. So if there is only four lines on a stanza, it is called as quatrains. The fourth line of all stanzas will be short. The last line of each stanza will be short and that is called um, quatrains and the uh, fourth line of all stanzas will be short. That is what I uh, want to explain. A lyrical poem. So this poem will, is a lyrical poem. You can just uh, take this poem to sing or uh, it will be having a tone in it. So it is called lyrical poem. Written in elegic tone. So sad tone. So written in elegic tone. That's all. Now it's time to get into the summary. This poem will have 14 stanzas. So first we are going to see about first to seventh stanza summary. The poet is sad about the previous year. He says that the previous year is no more and addressing the gone previous year as melancholic moralizer. If you have the poem, you can check it out. The very first line of this poem will have the line melancholic moralizer. So the poet is very much sad about the new year because we doesn't even know what the new year, upcoming new year is having for us. Uh, we don't know whether it will be happier or whether it will have some struggles in it. We doesn't even know, right? But the people are enjoying so that the poet is having some sad opinion over it. The poet is ready to welcome the new year but with melancholic tone. So he is ready to welcome the new year but he is having some melancholic tone over it. The poet is welcoming the new year to lament for the previous year. He is not wholeheartedly welcoming the new year. So the uh, poet is pinpointing that I am not going to wholeheartedly welcome the new year because something ahead uh, it may be happier or sadder. The poet indirectly trying to pinpoint the innocence of people. So this point is very important point you can write in your exam. He is pinpointing the innocence of people. So people are very much innocent. They, they don't know what is going to happen but they are enjoying. So it resembles the innocence of people. Mixed emotions like happiness as well as sadness will be lights up in this poem so you can see as if you are reading the poem or if you are, uh, if you are going through this poem you can see the emotions of uh, both happiness and sadness uh, present in this poem the poet also explains the fact that this year would also pass by but the people without understanding this just enjoying the day so the subject of death is highlighted here this is a seriously important note. The subject of death is highlighted here. So we are marching towards death but we are enjoying. So the subject of death is highlighted here. The poet is trying to talk directly to their readers by asking few questions like whether time will last forever. So he is asking some questions. In that stanza you can see three questions in it. The very important question I have mentioned here. Whether time will last forever. He is asking us. Do you know you will have time? Do you know what will happen tomorrow? but you are enjoying what is this like that he is asking the poet also tries to give some advice to the readers he says that we are just mortal being death is the one we'll get in the end so uh, the ultimate goal of our life is death we are marching towards death he is telling and we are enjoying it, it is what is the purpose of living he is asking the poet says that between love and beauty it is love which lasts longer so he is comparing love and beauty uh, but uh, the beauty is not winning here. The love is the one which lasts forever, he is telling. So love is everything. Beauty will fade away, but love will last forever, he is telling. We have completed uh, first seven stanza summary. Now it is time to know about uh, the subsequent stanzas, that is 8 to 14 sum stanza summary. The poet is now talking about the state of happiness. He says that, Happiness is compared to that of nothing, emptiness. So happiness is compared to that of nothing. So, happiness will be like, uh, it will be there for a certain period but it will fade away. So he is comparing happiness with halo, that is emptiness. 
to him the color of the future seems so dull so as he is living on that uh, era he is telling that the future may be so dull he is telling the poet says that the present scene is happy actually the present scene is tempting him to be happy but it is not so he says that the present scene is very much happy the entire atmosphere is happy but uh, it is tempting me to be happy but inside me no i am not happy he is telling he compared himself to a pilgrim who is standing on a barren mountain and looking the future so he is just uh, standing like a pilgrim and looking for future that's all the poet is not having any hope about his future and therefore he is in a sad mood so he is very much sad that he is always telling that the future we doesn't know but we are entirely happy now it is not good like that he is telling the poet is enjoying the fading orbit of the day that is the circle of day and night orbit means the circle of day and night he is just enjoying the circle of day and night so he is insisting us to enjoy what is present he is just asking us to live the present that's all that is the entire theme of the poem he is asking us to live the present that's all he knows his future and know the time will pass by so he is telling that i'll know the future and i know the time will pass by i'm just living the present life that's all he is telling uh, we are the pilgrim the uh, pres- uh, the permanent resting place for human being is grave so we should never ever forget this that death is inevitable that is the entire theme of the poem that's all so that's all about today's video uh, watch this video before writing your exam it will be very much helpful to you if you felt this helpful please don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a good day thank you so much for watching